we're in the middle of another project, but I wanted to talk about the grill for the Rockwood 2899KS, our fifth wheel that so far we love. Uh, it comes with a griddle now. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a date. Uh, that goes on the sidewall over here. It's a gas griddle. Heidi's already uh, treated it, you know, went through the process of um, seasoning it, which they have a little instructions to do so, I believe online. But what I'm showing you now is the grill and the, the mount and the hose and all that stuff all contained in a bag. You don't get the bag. Uh, this is something that Heidi added and I think that she did a really good job choosing it because it is spacious. You can see how big it is. Oh yeah, that's right. They also give you a, uh, Forest River gives you a big spatula. So Rockwood will include this big spatula with a uh, cap opener for your bottles. Um, we didn't use this in the last RV, but we also didn't have a griddle either. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh, take this, flip it upside down, hang it up, all that stuff. So if you don't understand or know, um, these aren't electric. They do run on gas, but they run on the onboard propane. So they give you a, a length of hose. Uh, the grill works the best whenever it is to the left here. Um, just because of the length of hose. It will work on the right side though, if you wanna do it that way. Heidi went ahead and put up the uh, table and it's kind of a prep table, I guess. Um, for her, that's high. This is not too bad for her. Um, it could be a little bit lower, but the table that, I guess it's a, like a shelf that's just left a little bit more than what you would normally use a shelf for, but it does work. So the uh, hose, if you guys don't know, just plugs right in back there. You can see the uh, yellow connector there. And that gives you the ability to grill. Whenever you buy the bag, again, the link will be down below for this, you also get the grill cover that comes with the bag. That's part, of, it's a two-piece thing. So I think it's kind of almost needed because right now we can leave this out in the rain. It can, you know, it's not gonna hurt the grill. This is water repellent. And I mean, it's gonna shed the water. It's just like a bike cover or whatever you wanna call it. Um, but. That's one of the things that I wanted to talk about is buying the cover for this grill because of the storage capability. Uh, as you've seen, the hose went in there, the frame, the mounting frame that the grill slides on, the griddle, uh, your griddle top, your griddle itself, and that table um, all fit inside that bag, and of course, with this cover too. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. Okay, all hooked up, ready to go. Very simple design. Um, I do like that it has this little grease tray. You know, you scrape all your drippings in there and it goes down into the tray. The griddle, you can see, it does have a couple spots that are hotter than the others. Um, it may make a difference whenever you're cooking, but i talking with Heidi and I agree with her. Uh, she likes it because she may get to where she needs to cook her vegetables a little bit slower. She can put them in the corner. Um, if she's doing anything else on here, you know, there is a cold spot on the griddle that she can move food to. Uh, so she's not cooking the whole time, just in case. But definitely you can see the hot spot there. And so far she likes it. We're gonna try some more food out today. But again, the cover with the outdoor cover, once it's up and, and set up, that'll be in the link in the description. And hope this helped out. Appreciate it guys. As always, we hope to see you out here. Bye.